Now the pace car leads the field down the front stretch and peels off the paper. Right? The green flag is in there. We are racing here in Indy. And Shane Van Gisberg enforces it three wide. He's already up into the lead. Carson Hersenberg goes to the inside of Jimmy Johnson for the second position. He's going to get it off to turn number three. But out of turn number four, Jimmy Johnson goes to the inside. So we complete the first lap. One lap to go in stage number one. Then we've got trouble in turn four. It's Brody Kostecki and Joey Logano. That will bring up the yellow flag to end the stage. Shane Van Gisberg is going to pick up the win. It looks like Joey Logano tried to go too aggressive com coming into turn number four. And Brody Kostecki, an innocent bystander, caught up in the mess. Here's another look in slow motion. Looks like Joey Logano slid up the track, making an aggressive move on Kostecki. And that was an unfortunate event to take both drivers out of the race. Now the pace car makes the dive to pit road and the green flag flies once again. Seven laps to go in this race. And it's not a good start for Jimmy Johnson. Daniel Hemrick gets up into the second position. Martin Truex Jr. gets up into third. 31 car chasing down the 97. Coming around turn four, five, no, six laps to go. Hemrick to the outside. He's going to take the lead away from Van Gisbergen. Down the back stretch. Van Gisbergen dies to the inside. He fakes high. He goes back low. He's going to take the lead back from Daniel Hemrick. Five laps to go this time by. And they trouble with turn three. It's Dillon Jr., Kyle Busch, and Austin Dillon. Caution is out here with only five laps to go. Looks like Kyle Busch got loose coming into turn number three. And Austin Dillon and Dillon Jr. both had nowhere to go. Great job by Harrison Burton in case he came to avoid it. Here's another look in slow motion. Looks like Kyle Busch got loose coming into turn number three. Austin Dillon piles into the back. And Dillon Hunt Jr. gets heavy front arrow damage. Great job by everyone else to avoid it. As they come out of turn four, down the front stretch, the pace car pulls onto pit road, and the green flag flies once again. Three laps to go in this race. And Ty Gibbs is already going to try to challenge Shane McGisberger for the lead as Jonathan Ivacek gets up to the third position. Coming around turn four, 54, chasing 97, two laps to go as Hemrick gets up to th th third. White flag is in the air. G Gibbs dives to the inside. He's not going to get there. Coming into turn number two, Gibbs dives it in hard. He takes the lead away from Shane Van Gisbergen. Gisbergen tries to the inside. It's not going to work. Ty Gibbs down the final stretch. It's going to be Ty Gibbs to win here at Indianapolis and pick up his first career Whole Wheels Cup Series win. Here's another look at how he got it done. Coming into turn number one, Ty Gibbs takes an aggressive high line and he was able to use that momentum to make a late dive bomb to the inside of Shane Van Gisbergen in turn number two. As we take a look at the turn three incident, Shane Van Gisbergen dove back to the inside of Ty Gibbs. He overdrove the exit of turn number three, and that was just enough to give Ty Gibbs the inside lane advantage to help him to his first career NASCAR Hot Wheels Cup Series win. And with this, he will join the other five drivers in the 2024 NASCAR Hot Wheels Cup Series playoffs.